So this is going to be a software overview. We're going to be looking at a program I wrote. Um, and today we're just going to be looking at how it used. In a future video, I might go over more details on, on, the, on the technical aspects of how it works. Um, but uh, if you go to github.com forward slash melex1000 and you'll search my repositories for Fireware, you'll find uh, a project with a bunch of, of software I wrote for firefighters, you know, just to get things started. Uh, I moved mostly the older applications to a folder called old because I'm just kind of starting from scratch here. All that stuff's available. But a new application I wrote today uh, is called Station Bidding. And uh, basically what this does is uh, different fire departments do things different. But if you work for a fire department, uh, you probably have multiple stations and a lot of, station, a lot of departments have bidding every year or so uh, where you get to bid by seniority what station you work at for the next year. And this can get complicated as your, as your department gets bigger. How do you get everybody together to, to figure out who's this and you can send a bunch of emails back and forth or you can use something like this application where you could call people uh, on a conference call and basically I have it so that uh, someone can enter in the information and everybody else real time will see uh, as people are added to the list. So uh, I've copied this folder over to my server here and it's right here. I'm going to split my screen right here so we have two windows open. We have the window for viewing on the left. I really should put a title on there so it's not just a blank page. Um, and then on the right is where people are added. So this would be the URL. Well, not this URL, but once you put it on your server, you would send this to everybody and everybody will view this and it automatically updates every five seconds. Uh, on the right here, this would be where basically a trusted person in most cases would be entering people on that conference call. Theoretically, you can give everybody this link and when their turn comes up, they can add themselves manually. That is if you trust everybody. Otherwise, people might just be adding people in randomly. But let's go ahead and give it, ahead and give it a uh, try. I'm going to say Bob Smith. Then I can pick what station they're going to work at. And then I can pick their rank from this list here. I'm just going to say firefighter and I'll hit enter and they've been added. And then you can see over here they've been added. And I've color coded uh, firefighters, lieutenants, and driver engineers to different colors here. So if I add someone else, I'll call John Tester, Tester here and I'll say he's going to work at station uh, 20. I'll say he's an engineer. I'll click submit. And again, everybody can have this link over here on the left and they should automatically, within five seconds or less, see the added names. So let's go ahead and add um, Bill Thompson. And we'll say he works at Station 20 as well. And we'll make him the engineer. Uh, and we will actually, uh, John's the engineer. So we'll say firefighter submit. And again, there he is right there. And uh, we can keep adding names. We'll say Billy Bob. Sure. Uh, we'll say he's going to work at 22 as a lieutenant. Submit. And again, and this uh, this view over here scales. So let me make this full screen so you can see. Uh, you know, on a desktop, you get three across. Actually, I think it'll be four across once we add another station. Uh, if I go into like cell phone mode, you'll see that it will be a single column so people can view this on their cell phone. And same thing, it will auto update as, um, as things are added. So let's just keep adding names here. We're going to say um, Tim Person because I'm creative with names. We'll add him to 20 and we will say he's the lieutenant. Submit and he's been added over here. Um, Chris People, station 22, we'll say that he is the firefighter, we'll submit him, and we will say that Tom, I don't know, make up the last name, uh, <laughs> Johnson, there, uh, he'll work at 22 as well, and he will be, what have we not gotten here yet, we'll say that he is the engineer, submit. And so you can do this on and on and on. And again, everybody will be automatically, so once their turn, they can see what spots are available at, uh, at different stations. So on the conference call or whatever, they you know add in their name. We'll say Andy um, Thomas, sure. And we'll add him to station 71 and we'll say he's the firefighter. And he'll be added over here, station 71. It does, uh, it does uh, sort stations numerically in order. I don't have any sorting going on uh, with the ranks. They are color coded, but you can see it they're, they're in the order they're put into the database. That's something I might change later. It's not a huge deal. There's usually, with my department, 
three people at each station except for stations that have uh, extra trucks. Um, so that's it. We can keep on adding whatever's. Anyway, so that's an application uh, that I created, free to use, uh, GPL license. Check it out. Uh, check out links in the description. And uh, you know, check out my other projects. So this is just a quick overview of it. And in the future, I might go over the more of the details on what the different uh, scripts in here do. It's not very complicated. It's a very simple application with just two views: the entering view, the add person, and the view that everybody can watch real time. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.